okay. My altitude is 750 meters on an aspect that's uh, southwest, so southwest facing slope. Um, over the last few days, it's been very, very cold, minus uh, uh, 12 on at summit levels. Here in the snowpack, it's about minus 6. And the new layer here fell about two or three days ago. And the layer here that was about four days ago, which is a very thin crust which formed after a, a, a light snowfall that covered the whole of this snowpack here. So what we've had to go today is this, this layer has been subject to temp through temperatures, temperature gradients, has been subject to change. And so we've been monitoring this layer over the last uh, couple of days because it seems to be getting worse. So what I've done here is I've isolated a block and um, I'm just really going to see how this layer um, behaves. So ideally, if I'm going to cut around the back, um, really this whole slab, if you like, is suspended and lying on this, what we think is a friable layer, a weak or weak grain. So if I cut the back, which is the tension fracture, okay, so that's that release. And then really, what happens in the avalanche failure is that layer will collapse. So what we're going to do is mimic a weighting on the top here and see what happens to this layer. So I did a couple of light taps and see it has collapsed and the layer has failed and it's failed on. Layers of really loose, loose grains like sugar, which has grown. These grains have grown and developed within the snowpack over the last few days.